Hello everyone, welcome to Geetam's Inside Prep Series. I'm Surya Madnala, senior trainer from Geetam University. In this video, we walk through the time and work concept. We understand the concept and we will be able to solve the questions based on the time and work as well as on pipes and systems. So let us start understanding what the concept is all about. I would explain the concept by taking an example. So here we have an example saying if A alone can complete a work in 15 days and B alone can do it in 30 days, then uh, I have just kept it a blank for a while. We understand the concept first. They say that A alone can complete a work in 15 days. So A is a person who is doing the work and he completes one work in 15 days. The work can be anything, maybe constructing a, a, a table, okay, or preparing an assignment, working on assignment, any task, it can be anything. He completes that work, he completes, I'm talking about 100% work in 15 days. If suppose I've been asked in five days, how much part of the work he can do, and you know we can apply a chain rule over here to get the answer. So definitely less than one work, less than one work. So your fraction becomes five by 15 into one, that is one by three. In the same way, if I take it B also, B alone can do it in 30 days. B alone can do it in 30 days, can do it. He mean to he, it here refers to the same work which is done by A. Now, one important thing to be noted here, we cannot consider a different work than what A is performing. So when we are working on this, we make sure that the work which is done by B is also the same work done by A. So B, the one work can be done. B can do it in 30 days. So if I ask you five days, how much part of the work can we do? Again, a chain rule. So you get your answer five by 30 into one, that is one by six. Now this is pretty clear that when A can complete a work in 15 days alone, working alone, and B alone can do it in 30 days, we, we make sure that B is slower than A. So from this, this, from this statement, it gives us an identification that the efficiency of B is lower than or lesser than the efficiency of A while working on that work. So if I advance, if I complete the question in this way, saying that if A alone can complete a work in 15 days and B alone can do it in 30 days, then in how many days A and B working together will complete the work? Boys and girls, I really want to introduce a beautiful theory called theory of burgers. I want to introduce here a theory of burgers, which can help you out to understand, understand the question much easier. You won't find this theory of burgers anywhere, but just to make your understanding easy, I'm introducing this. Theory of burgers says that you just need to take up a common value, a common multiple to the given numbers. If I see 15, 30, a common multiple is 30. So you consider 30 burgers is your job or else you can consider 60 burgers your job. Anything is okay. So if I read my question, if A alone can complete a work in 15 days, the work is nothing but if I'm working with 30, I'm working with 30 everywhere. A alone can complete a work in, 30, in 15 days. So the work is 30 burgers. That does mean that A can eat 30 burgers in 15 days. This is just an assumption, assumption. I repeat, this is an assumption. So you can assume any value, but we are working with a common multiple. We are working with a common multiple because that makes our job more easy. That makes our job more easy. So you can work with a non-common multiple also, okay? Common multiple, okay? You can work with a non-common multiple as well. 
So I read my statement, if A alone can complete a work in 15 days, the work is nothing but 30 burgers I have assumed for. So A can eat 30 burgers in 15 days. B can eat 30 burgers, the same work he's talking about in 30 days. This is how it stands to me. If I say A can eat 30 burgers in 15 days, so in one day, A can eat two burgers. The same way, in one day, B can eat one burger. So if, if I ask the question, if I read the question, in how many days A and B working together? They mean to say A and B are performing the work together. So in one day, in one day, A and B together eats two burger plus one burger, that is three burgers. Well, complete the work. They're talking about A and B has to complete the work. The work is nothing but to eat 30 burgers. And in how many days will they eat? So this again stands to the chain rule. And you get your answer as 10 days. This is how you apply chain rule to understand or to solve the question of time and work. You just need to take a common multiple of the numbers given in the question. And imagine that those many burgers, the theory of burgers is nothing but to taking identifying a common multiple of the numbers given in the question. And once you start working on that, you will get your answers easy. I mean, I, I will just take it to another question, which has a similar data. Okay, the information given over here, A alone can complete the work in 15 days, B alone can do it in 30 days. So again, we'll consider a common multiple, common multiple of the numbers given to us. Imagine, let's suppose this time we are working with 60 burgers. We are working with 60 burgers, okay? Now, if we read it, a can eat 60 burgers in 15 days. So in one day, he can eat four burgers. This is, this is easy to identify. If you are not able to, you can just apply the chain rule here to identify it. B, 60 burgers he eats in 30 days. The 60 is an assumption. You can work with 100 also. You can work with any number. This is just for an assumption. 60 burgers can be eaten by B in 30 days. In a day time, he can eat how many burgers? Two burgers. Now, if I go further with the question, in how many days will the work get completed? So the work has to be completed. The total work is to eat 60 burgers. Okay, they start, if they start working together, they started here, A and B started here. And after four days, four days, after four days, A fell ill. That means A stopped working. Then who will continue the work? Definitely B continued. B continued and finished the job. So in how many days the work is getting completed if, four, if they started working together and after four days, A fell ill and stopped working. That does mean that in these four days, A and B are working together. And for these many days, B is working alone. And we do not know how many number of days is this. Now let us assume in a daytime, in one day, A and B together can eat six burgers. This is from this. This information is dragged out from these two statements. So in one day time, A and B together can eat six burgers. So in four days of a time, they can eat 24 burgers. I am left with how many burgers? The whole job is nothing but 60 burgers to be eaten. A and B started and worked for four days and we identified that in four days, A and B together can eat 24 burgers. 
because in a day, in a day they eat six burgers. So for four days they will eat twenty-four burgers. So the leftover burgers is thirty-six. Should be eaten by whom? By B, but B alone. And we know that in one day B eats two burgers. To eat thirty-six burgers, B will take how many days? If I again apply my chain rule here, this is nothing but eighteen days. So we got that in eighteen days B can eat thirty-six burgers. So the whole job gets completed in twenty-two days. Four days plus eighteen days. That's it. So your answer for this question is twenty-two days. If I take the question in another way, saying that the same information. The same information. Sixty burgers to be my job. A in one day is eating is eating four burgers. B in one day is eating two burgers. From this information, from this information, they started working together. A and B in one day can eat six burgers. Now, what is the question they say? If they started working together and A left the job six days before completion of the work, they say that they started here and they finished here. They started the job here. They finished the job here. I mean, completed the job here. But what exactly he has been given to us is six days before the job has got finished, uh, completed. Six days before the job has been completed, A left. A left. So that does mean that B alone is working for these six days. B alone is working for these six days. B in one day he is eating two burgers. B in one day he is eating two burgers. So in six days he will eat twelve burgers. Now. How many burgers were eaten by both A and B? If I say, because for the starting period they will definitely work together. So I am having forty-eight burgers which are eaten by A and B together. In one day they take they eat six burgers. So for forty-eight they take how many days? I get eight number of days. Eight days by both of them to eat forty-eight burgers. So the whole work gets completed in eight plus twelve in twenty days. In the previous case, in the previous case, we were having four days. Initially, they have been given because A fell ill after four days. A fell ill. Here in this case, what we see is A left the job six days before completion of the work. So I come from back. I come from the work when it is completed, and then I count my six days of a gap. So the answer for this question is twenty days. Try try rewinding the video. Work on it again and again so that the concept gets clear. I repeat this again. Sixty burgers is just an assumption. You may take any value. You may take any value, provided that the value should be much easier to divide with fifteen and thirty. I feel that a common multiple can help you out in much easier way. Now, you may also see a question not necessarily A and B working, but you can also see a question on pipes on pipes. Now there is no much difference in this. There is no much difference in this. See, there is a question saying that. See, the question saying that pipe A can fill a tank in thirty hours, and an outlet pipe. Now this outlet pipe, you can say that it's a leak pipe. It can also be questioned you in this way: a leak pipe, or maybe an empty pipe. So the job of an outlet pipe is to empty the tank. Whereas the job of an inlet pipe is to fill the tank. Now fill the tank. 
So an inlet pipe can fill a tank in 30 hours. So in 30 hours, this inlet pipe is filling the empty tank. It is filling the empty tank in 30 hours. The outlet pipe is emptying the completed tank. The outlet pipe is emptying the complete tank, the filled tank, you can say. Now, again, theory of Burgess. So I take a common multiple of 30 and 45. Let us assume for 90 Burgess to be eaten. Okay. Now we have pipe A. Pipe A saying 30 hours to eat 90 burgers. So in one hour, pipe A, or else you can say as 90 gallons, 90 gallons as the capacity. Any value can be assumed. Okay, since we are working on a burger theory, we'll work on the burger theory on. So in one hour, pipe A can eat three burgers. The same way, pipe B. 45 hours to empty, to empty the 90 burgers. 45 hours to empty the 90 burgers or 90 gallons, whatever you want to term. The burger can be replaced with chocolates, anything you want. I, I am fond of burgers, I'm using burgers here. So in one hour, he empties two burgers. So when it is emptying, I have kept negative sign. Negative sign for emptying. Pipe B is an empty outlet pipe. This is to fill pipe, to fill pipe. Now together A plus B in one hour, they do how much work? Three plus negative two, you get one burger to be eaten. One burger to be eaten. How much time they will take to fill the empty tank. So in one hour, they eat one burger, but the job is to fill the empty tank, that is to 90 burgers. So how many hours? Answer is nothing but 90 hours. The same theory of burgers I applied here, provided that here, one of the person or one of the pipe is doing a negative job, a negative job. The other person is doing a positive job, as we have discussed in the previous questions. So let us take one more question on, on the pipes. Yes, the question states that a tap can fill a tank in 48 hours or 48 minutes. So tap A, 48 minutes. Tab B can empty. Tab B can empty. Another tab, we are considering this tab to be B, can empty it in two hours. Now let me convert these two hours into minutes, saying 120 minutes, because we are considering this as minutes. I'm considering two hours into minutes. So that is 120 minutes. Now I take a common multiple of both this. I take a common multiple of both of this. So let's say 240 burgers. This is an emptying pipe. This is a fill pipe. 240 burgers. I have taken a common multiple, common multiple. This is an assumption. I repeat, this is an assumption. So in 48 minutes, A can eat 240 burgers. So in one minute, it can eat five burgers five burgers. In one minute, in 120 minutes, it can eat 240 burgers. B in one minute can eat negative two or can empty two burgers. I'm just writing negative sign there. Both A and B in one minute can eat positive sign. So that means it is filling the tag. Five minus two is a positive sign. That means it is filling a tank with three burgers in a minute. The question states that if the taps are opened at 11.40, the tank will be filled at what time? So the job is to fill 240 burgers. It will take 80 minutes. It will take 80 minutes. 80 minutes from 11.40. 
80 minutes from level 40. First, I add 20 minutes to make it as 12. Then I add 60 minutes, that means one hour, I will become, it will become 1300 hours, that is nothing but one o'clock. So this is what the answer is. So it will, it will get filled at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. because they started at 11.40 a.m. So after 80 minutes, it becomes 1 p.m. So by this, I end up my video. I would suggest before ending it up, try to consume, try to uh, assume a common multiple value, which is play displayed, common multiple of the numbers displayed to you in the question that can make your job more easy. The burgers can be replaced with anything. Few people consider can, can consider it as chocolates, the few can consider it as gallons, anything, maybe pizza. Okay. The point is to assume the right value because it makes your job more easy. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.